thank you for tuning in on Are You Ready to Be Exposed with your host, Katira, a.k.a. Casey Exposed. Today, I got your boy Lotus Taylor right up, here. Guys? What up, MC? Lotus, what up? Thank What's you for up? coming today. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you for shining oh, us thanks. with this beautiful, beautiful flower. That's what it is? Yeah, Lotus yeah. Taylor? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that name, actually. Um, like, that's cool. And I, th I think, actually, you your album cover have yeah, the flowers. Yeah. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna get yeah. back to that because I kind of want to know who did that. But like, Lotus Taylor, yeah. where did that come from? Um, Tell me a little bit. All right. Well, the name Lotus came from, you know, the flower. The flower. <laughs> but uh, it was really, I, I did some research on it, and if mm -hmm. you eat the petals of the flower, it's like a, it acts as a hallucinogen. If you like let it fester in your body for like an hour, and you start oh, wow. to like hallucinate and feel like euphoric and stuff. And I noticed, like, when I rap, like, at shows, like, sometimes people would just be, like, just, like, like, just, like, stuck. Like, just, like, yeah, looking. Right, and they'd be right. looking, like, you know, like, stuck. And it's, like, I kind of was, like, yo, that's kind of ill. So I was, like, yes. all right, Lotus will, might work. So, <laughs> but the real reason why it was because um, a, a Lotus flower, I, I watched a sped up video. Mm -hmm. They, like, covered it in dirt. And, like, with, like, oh. the, the bloom, the, the flower and everything was already bloomed and everything. And it pushed right through it. Like, and it. there was nothing wrong with it. So it was, like... You know, throughout my whole life, I've always had dirt on my name, always. I'm used to it. So mm -hmm. it's like, I, I always get through it, though. So You're it's like, that's, that's literally me, like a flower. I mean, it kind of sounds a little fruity, but... No, it's not fruity. That's I what mean, it like, is. Like, I just... Know, so, but the Taylor, the Lotus Taylor came from, um, I was I was adopted. Mm -hmm. So when, when I was born, my name was Brandon Taylor, like originally. Brandon Taylor. So I figured, like, if I'm taking hip hop back to, like, its original roots, I'm going to take myself, like, back with it. So... Mm -hmm. I was like, Lotus Taylor, Brandon Taylor. All right, there we go. So I connected <laughs> it in Lotus Taylor, and it stuck from there on. Stuck from there. It's, ca it's definitely catchy. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your music. I mean, we know you're an MC. What type of MC? Like, what What do you usually rap about? Um. I mean, I kind of know a lot. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all, you know, let him talk. <clears throat> tell me. I mean, I, I like, I rap about stuff, everyday stuff. I don't Every know. Like, and y'all gonna hear that. I so rap like, about a lot of stuff. Like I don't, I don't know what to. I rap about a lot of stuff. There's, there's, I rap about things that so much. I mean, you, like you'd be interested. Like so, it's like it's not just one topic. It's like, definitely a story. Yeah. Like a so story. So I can't say what. There's not one thing that one I rap thing. about, but I definitely rap about uh, real life stuff that people can relate to. Really like too. you know, I make you feel it. Like you don't just hear the words oh, and be yeah, like, "Oh, it's dope." Like you gotta like live it with me. Like you walk through the track with me. Like you can feel it in my voice. That's why I rap a certain way. Like and you write your own emotions. Music? Yeah, I, I don't let people write for me. Never. I never. When did you start writing? Like eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah, Do I didn't start recording. Like, but eighth grade, I started. What writing. like where were you? What yeah. Were you thinking. I remember ev everything. Like everything. I, like everything. What's up? Like it was yesterday. <laughs> like, uh, I was in class. I missed basis class. It was, it was I was at the Morse school. Morse Shout out to school. my Morse heads. <laughs> it was mad funny. <laughs> I went to the Morse. And it was in, uh, it was in eighth grade, right? And she asked us, she was like, she wanted us to do like a, a poem or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was like some assignment. And I don't know, I think I was talking like with rap with one of my friends or something like that, mm -hmm. or with one of my homies. And it was like, I was like, yo, can I write a rap? Like, does it count? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, I did it. Like, I wrote it. And at that moment, I realized, I was like, yo, poetry is the same thing. Like, yeah. as rap. Like, depending on how you put it in, you know, what message you have and, you know, those little mm -hmm. factors, but it's the same thing as poetry. So it's like, I just, I ran with that. Like, and I, and, I, and she gave me an A. Like, I performed it in front of the whole class. Like, I remember, wow. like, it was like the, yesterday. Like, I remember, yeah. Too, you had, like, like I didn't really, thing. like, perform it. Like, like, ra like I just <laughs> rapped it as best I could. That was, like, my first vocal performance, like, ever. Like, ever. I just rapped it. Like, I just said it as it was in my head. Were and you nervous? Was like, Were you scared? Yeah, hell yeah, I was yeah. nervous. I, that was my first time. I was So why you grade. do it? I, I mean, had, like, you only had to write that paper, though. <laughs> no. I don't know. I wanted to stand out. I you never, like, enough. people always say, uh... You gotta find your place where you fit in. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> sometimes you don't fit in where you are. So it's like I don't. I never thought of finding a place to fit in. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I'm gonna stand out and I'm gonna shine. I, I look. I look different from people. I dress different. I talk different. I carry myself different. I know that. Yeah. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's because no, that's I, great. I don't. And that's what makes you. I don't you. want. I, mean, yeah. I think that's what we need in the graduate. Yeah. Uh, people to be unique. People 
um, want to do something that's different than what someone else is doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, there's a lot of lacking in that, but mm -hmm. definitely not coming from you. So how many albums have you done? Uh, I haven't even released a full like studio album. album. I well, did mixed two mixtapes. I did two mixtapes um, on my SoundCloud at Lotus Taylor. Well, it's Lotus just on Taylor. like on like everything. Check that out at Lotus Taylor on everything. Lotus Taylor. Dot com. Com. like <laughs> and you will see but, everything there he got yeah. everything set up like but there's you like gotta complain there's like, about like 50 this. songs about 50. up there there's about 50. wow and like, i don't think that's a, that's a lot because like i feel like well I, when did you like i, I started period? first recording like my freshman year freshman year on garage band i didn't even have a microphone okay. i was on like a computer just like this and that's freshman year high school yeah let's put it out there you know what i mean young yeah. mc here and like some of my, my teachers like even to this very day some of my teachers still like keep up with me on my facebook they be like yo like your music is dope and it's like nice. it's dope because it's like when i was in high school like i was doing like a lot of bad stuff but teachers always oh, like was like yo boy, bad boy. <laughs> people, <laughs> people was always like yo your music is dope like you gotta keep doing this like this is dope and even my spanish teacher and like there was a couple of teachers that really like actually worked with me on it and i got to this level and it's like this is dope like you know so it's like i try to keep those things in memory and that's what just keeps me moving but I started on GarageBand. I didn't have a microphone. I didn't know how to equalize. I didn't. All I knew was mm -hmm. click record and then add a, a little sound effect. So how did you like, start? Like, did you collaborate with someone that had a studio or did beats? Do you do your own beats? Nah, I don't make my own, own beats, beats. Sadly, like honestly, if I made my own beats, I would have dropped the album already. Yeah, but I would have dropped a couple albums already because right. I would. Yeah, I could sell everything. Your beats are hot though. I, I don't. Yeah. Not nah, like my my songs. Yeah, like song. the songs are songs are. I mean, I think my songs are different. Like and they yeah, come out, they come out better. This, the material Even that the I've been working flow. on, the material I've been working on now is 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 I, like <laughs> is 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 coming. <laughs> like I don't know, I don't want to like gas myself for like, but it's it's dope. Make like it, get us excited it, though. It, like it is, it is dope. Like the just the songs that, from what I've been hearing from everybody else, yeah. People are gonna be like, people are gonna be like, yo, like that's dope. Like if you, it's gonna be the the one stain on a white t-shirt. Like so, we're gonna be dropping this album. We're gonna be you, you know. Homeland, right here in Cambridge, Boston, or you yeah. gonna drop it somewhere else? I want to drop it in New York. In New York? Why New yeah, York? Yeah, that's the first time that I've actually. Why New York? <laughs> because that's like the no, hometown. Stop. Like honestly, that's where <laughs> that's where I got my biggest buzz from. Like where I got yeah. my biggest show response from. I did a show down there, and there was a, a Def Jam mm -hmm. representative in the crowd, and he called me What's, back what on was the stage. Show name? It was the, it was Cormega. You, you know the artist Cormega? He's like kind of yeah. older. Uh, Cormega, like Cormega. that's his name. I am yeah. Cormega. Like, but um, he he dropped the album like 15, 16 years ago now, um, called The Realness, mm -hmm. and it was a 15 year anniversary. So, I, the the show first was at Middle East, April 9th, and uh, the dudes that I'm signed to, MBS, Natural Born Spitters, Natural they Spitter. they one of them he's connected with Cormega, so he was like, yo, I'm gonna get Mega to like I'm gonna take you out like halfway through my set, and I'm gonna let you rock. And I was like, at Cormega's thing? And he was like, yeah. I was like, in New York? He was like, yeah, just find your way down there. I was like, So how did you feel? Like, how did you prepare? Like, was your I, flow, I, like, that, different? Your mind I, was different? I like, rapped for, like, I didn't do anything else but rap. Like, that, those four or five songs rap. that... Yeah, I had a five song set and I knew what my set was because I had like 15 minutes. So I was like, yo, I'm about to get these five songs done. I rapped it every time like that, like, every day, nonstop. So for, like, what type hours. of performer would you say you are? Like, do you... Do you come in smooth? Does it depend on the <laughs> song? Like, are I think, you different in every performance? Like, I think I'm aggressive. Aggressive I and am. smooth at the same time. Smooth at the same time. I I'm aggressive as in terms of I'm gonna get everybody I to shut up. I can see that in your lyrics. I mean, like you coming hard with that voice and then, like <laughs> it's just definitely smooth. I, I, I feel like I'm aggressive as far as like I'll get everybody to recognize me as the mic controller at the moment. Like, yeah. yo, I'm I have the mic right now. Y'all gonna be quiet y'all gonna listen to me speak but i come in smooth like once they hear the lyrics like i like and i i talk because like i'll talk to you regularly like this and then just break right out into a rap like without any like you know without you even knowing like yo he's about to rap like yeah. i just go right into it and you know i practiced that i take you know it wasn't just like i woke up like that but you know that's one of my techniques of performing and i mm -hmm. feel like i'm different because not many Nowadays, when I see performers, like, and when you're up-and-coming artists, people don't, you don't, you can't expect everyone to know your words. 
Like when you see like Future perform, mm -hmm. like I've seen him perform on stage. He don't really perform. He don't really rap his words. He like will rap. He will like sing the song along like and have the mic like he'll be walking around, walking like, around like, like getting it because the whole crowd knows his words already. Words so it's like he they're performing to him. So it's like <laughs> he just gotta chill. So it's like I'm not at that level yet. Even if I do get to that level, I would still rap every rap, single so word. So you wouldn't like, want to be like just... yeah. But it's like people don't know my words to my music like that because I'm not at that level yet. But it's like I still like try to. Like, I, I try to interact with the crowd and get them, like, even on hooks. Like, I'd be like, yo, it's, it's, it's simple. Like, say it with me. Like, Sweet. and they say it, like, and for real. And they'll and they'll start getting it because the hook is generally, like, three times in a song. So I got three tries to get it. So it's like, that's how I look at it. Like, the first time the hook comes on, then the verse, then the hook right after, and then the a verse again, and then the hook, and then a bridge, and maybe the hook twice. So it's like, I got at least three or four tries to get you to say the hook with me to get you to remember the song. And nine times out of ten, it works. So it's oh. like, that's how I view it. And it's like... At the, can't wait to check at the end, concert, like man. yeah, yeah, you you, 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 you gotta you gotta come to a concert. Like yeah. I'm telling you, like it's just I'm so I, I, I miss give this you, one because I I'm give an experience. I don't just street. like to just be like yo, like I'm gonna get on. There's a lot of people you see. I, I honestly, you see a lot of people on stage, and it's like after like there's like six people on stage, mm -hmm. and they all sounded like the same. So it was just like. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, in my heart, like, I, I was kind of nervous because, like, I always get, like, a butterfly in my stomach right before I get on stage because it's like, you're about to display your art, like, you know? like I know. Like, you just, in your head, just, like, don't just fuck up. Just anything like, you do like, because, like, you try yeah, to appeal like, to some <laughs> to people that you But in the back know. of your head, it's always just like, yo, you cannot mess up. Like, you prepared yes. for this. Like, no, that's you all that was in the back of my head. But I try to shun that because it's just like, yo, I can't keep thinking about that because then that, ne that energy is just going to make me mess up. Yeah. So I'm just like, yo, I got it. So, and once I get on stage and I get the mic and everyone like Your focus, man. it just works. So it's just like that's I like to perform where it's interactive. Like like back to how it really was. Like like back in the day, like you see uh Coogee rap on stage, like yeah. like really like 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 saying whoop they whoop and the whole crowd's like whoop they whoop. Like everyone in the crowd like is just doing the same thing. So that yes. is so dope to me because it's like I don't see that no more. No, but you that's how it needs that to be. On, that's entertainment. You don't that's see that. Real. Like, even and there's a few artists that you got that. Like, it's very, very few. Like, even now, Dave East, I think he's nasty. Who? Dave East. Dave East. Yeah, okay. like, he's, and there's a dude from this city. His name is Millie's. Like, Millie's. He's oh, progressed. Yeah, he's city. progressed he's a whole lot. Like, commercial. but I think lyrically, he's getting there. Like, he's nasty. Like, yeah. and it, like his music that he's making is dope. He, and the message, I can relate to it because I'm from the city. city, city but it's just know. like, I know him. Like, you know, and I know, like, how it is. So it's just like, it's dope, like, to see when you, like, one, that you don't lie in your lyrics, like, because yeah. it's, 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 when you, some artists, I don't, I don't know Kanye, personally, you feel yeah. me? I don't know Meek, I don't know any of these people, but, like, when you see, like, all other rappers talking about why you lying in your lyrics, all this stuff, yeah. it's like, I've, I never want to even have someone begin to think, yo, he's even lying in his lyrics, that, yeah. like, you feel me? So I take a lot of that stuff to heart, so it's like, every word I choose, like, from a T, like it's like I choose everything wisely as I say it. Like I, I, I don't hold my tongue like for anything. Yeah. Like, but it's like I choose wisely what I say. I'm not gonna say like I'm out here shooting people when I'm not. When you're like, really, <laughs> it's not what I do. Really like, it's not like I be chilling. Like I rap every day. Like, and I work my ass off and I pay for stuff that needs to move me forward in music. That's yeah. it. Like, so it's like, and I, I talk, I talk about daily struggles. Like my life like and mm -hmm. stuff that people can really relate to and like a lot of music is like empowering some is a sad yeah. song that's like about me but a lot of it is like something that you can get something from and like be like yo like i'm gonna move through my day because i heard this song and it yeah. was dope well, so that's why it's like, like that. that's why some songs i just listen to because i'm mad like and i have like i have like over like a thousand songs on my soundcloud i listen to like 19. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. Like I listened to like 19 songs, like on the like of your own all of 2016. Of... I probably listened to like 30 songs, 30. like over and over again. Like I don't listen to the radio. People, I go to clubs. I barely even go to the club. Like I go to the club like for like if I have like a show feature show, or something, yeah. mm -hmm. and I hear like all these new songs, and I'm like, yo, what is this? This is kind of knocking. Like I'm like, <laughs> I have and dudes is like, yo, this is old. Like what are you talking about? I'm like what? Like I haven't heard this. <laughs> but it's like I don't care because it's like. I feel like, uh, why am I listening to that? Like, it's, it's ill for the moment, but when I listen to the words, it's all the same. It's all the same. It's, it's the same. about how many cars you got, how much money you throw, how many girls you got. It's goals. all the it's same. So it's like, that. it's like when you see someone like me that's young, that knows the game, that knows, like, really what's up, that can rap, like, I feel like I'm a threat. And I like that. Because I, yeah. I have the upper hand on people. Like, I, I, it's, I, I, I engineer do. my own music. I don't have to oh, for pay for a studio engineer. And even if I were to pay for studio time, I, I'm, 
I can, there's a lot more things that just make it easier for me. Like I can get more songs done. Cause I'm like, yo, put an EQ on that or take the compressor off that or like, nah, we'll leave that. Just go to the next one. Like I can just yeah. tell them like, yo, like I'm not a lot, so not a lot of artists can do that. Like, no, no. I mean, they it's need like, team. I practice a lot. Like just how many times do you practice? I don't know. Like, you know, <laughs> just I, there's a lot. Just, People say this takes ten thousand hours to master some. Like, I have. I don't think I've gotten to ten thousand. I think I'm at maybe like three. Yeah. But I think that's a good amount for yeah. From eight from starting to record so what are your two moves years ago. Going forward, like you're about to drop an album. Like going forward, do you want to like do shows? Do you want to stay out here in Boston? You planning nah. on moving? <laughs> Like, no, so you just well, like Well, yeah, that. like I want to set my home base here. Like home, yeah. you can't you can't build a foundation without, you know, groundwork first. So yeah. I need to get stay here and you know be all right and be cool with the fans and stuff. Yeah, like definitely. that's why that's what oh, 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 what am I doing? Shout out to TWHT, yo. Like so like this is program Go again, my what is it? TWHT. This is program TWHT. Yeah, that I work for. It's this program is called the Hip Hop Transformation. It's a group of youngins and it's through the the Mayor's program. It's right um in the coast. Oh, the Mayor's program. I did that. It's through the Mayor's program and it's a program called the Hip Hop Transformation. It allows kids uh 14 18 to experience like a real record label to like be signed and know yeah. what it's like to really fully make an album in this past summer they made a full-length album 21 tracks it comes out january 21st on itunes it's called the matrix i'm featured on like four or something nice. like that catch at the matrix four tracks we'll have that. Like that. but it's dope like and i try to keep involved with the mm -hmm. kids because like they're up up and coming under me and they kind of i'm and it, i take i humble myself because it's like i really feel like are these I, kids that you mentor too yeah like i know them like oh, from, nice. from school like from the hood like i chill with them like every day but it's like i feel like I humble myself to the point where it's like I feel like I still ain't shit. Excuse my language, but it's like you they st it. they still like look up to me in a sense. Like yo, like they ask me questions. They be like yo, listen to my music, and mm -hmm. I, they don't say it, but I know I feel the sense of like yo, they know there's there's levels. Like and I know that I'm like on a different level than people. Like it's not I didn't just land a deal off of pure luck. Like, no, I mean this, you I, I practice. Like it took mad work. Like doing. I first started recording right around the corner from here in, in this dude's crib. Shout out to Constant Music. Constant Music. And that was my first time ever, like, recording with a snowball mic. Like, it, it was, like, it was off GarageBand. This was, like, and it, honestly, it was terrible quality, but I thought it was the illest ever because it was, like, it was my first yes, time. Yes, that's what I was got about you dropping, pushing and you know, to go That's forward. why I first started, and I look back at that, and I'm like, yo, that's why I first started, and it's like, look where I am now. I'm now running a full studio. I have access to all these different studios, all these different producers, mm -hmm. people. And it's all off of just doing it what what I learned from all the older people and mm -hmm. staying true. That's it. Like and it's like, you know, I see how real it is when you, you know, get into signing a deal and stuff. It's not always cracked up to be. It's not like you just no, get definitely. flashy and rich off a drop of a dime. It takes mad work. Like you're just well, as what independent are some things as that, a label like, that's behind you. Can you can tell so. people out there, like in like in terms of like some advice. On how to move, how to go out there, because a lot get, of artists don't get too caught I, up on the radio music. Don't Not get too just the radio music, on the visuals too. The life of like the visuals of like that party life, yeah. or like life is so easy that when if you, especially to up and coming rappers, I'm, I'm talking about like just specifically for rappers right yeah. now, like that are up and coming. Don't get too caught up in what you see, like the videos that like I'll tell you, I encourage you to listen to artists like Nas, like listen to artists like that, yes. or like listen to someone like, like Joey Common. Badass. I love yeah, Common. definitely listen to Common, Common but like listen to like, someone that would like tell you a story like of like yeah. not even like where you can I feel like I like this. If you if you hear a song by a rapper, you should at least be able to tell the who, what, when, where or why. At least one of those from that song. At least know who they are, where they're from, or what they're about, or why they're doing, or at why? least something yeah. about them from that song, other than they have money, girls, and weed. Yeah, like, definitely. You should at least be able to say that. And the artist that I just named, I feel like you can easily get that, and you can get a sense of what hip hop is really like. So it's like, are those um, MCs that inspire you? Yeah, like I, I man, honestly, so, like I said, my mom didn't really like. She didn't really encourage hip hop a lot. Like no, I listened no. to 10:90 a.m. Tom Joyner. Like, that was my thing. Like, every morning. Like, <laughs> every morning. Like, that was just the thing. My mom never was, like, Roman and Pebbles was no-no. No, no. Like, it was, it was, it was I, listen, I had to sneak to listen to Jam Scams. Like, when she got out the car really? to go get coffee, like, I had to turn the channel. Like, oh, snap, Jam Scams on. Yeah. Like, oh, my mom's coming back. Turn it back. Like, it was like that. So it was like, that's, 
it, and it's ironic because now mm-hmm. I know about what the and my mom just my mom comes to my shows now and it's like nice. it's so dope and to see her. And how is it different? Like, like do you tell like yo mom you didn't let me listen to this music? Yo, but it, she, and then I don't now I'm it. like dope. So how <laughs> are you feeling? I don't even have to say it because it's ill because she knows. But it's like the vision of hip hop that she had, and but it's not her. I don't feel like it's her fault because it's no. like I mean it's the same thing now. Like. Look at how kids, look at how thing, uh, I just wrote a line, uh, it's mad corny, but like, I put, um, look at, uh, some, uh, look at how we growed up, or something like that, look at how we, look at how we grown up, dude's still in love with the cocoa, I'm still in love with the cocoa puffs, or something like that, mm-hmm. like, I try to keep it as to the point where it's like, I still stick to my roots as the point where it's like, I'm still on that, like, yo, how, how did all this happen, where did all this come from, like, all this trap music, like, if mm-hmm. there was no original golden era, if there was no like like 2003 era of music yeah like there would be no little uzi vert right now no, what, little, little, they wouldn't even, even, that, honestly even, even even the soldier boy like back then like honestly uh. lyrically the dude dude watch me you it was a dope song but it was like <laughs> it was like there they wouldn't be a lot of artists now like if there wasn't honestly it, the music the quality of the music was just better back then honestly in my opinion I, I just mean, think I it was better way. like there was even more messages the same way. they're even, looking for that to come back you know, and people are like I'm you, telling you better you, it's, put down it's the gonna, spot it's gonna come back because I'm telling you there's a lot of people right now that's really starting to blossom like that deserve it there's this little kid Token he's not even a little kid anymore I need to oh, stop yeah, saying Token. that Token, yep. Token is nasty. nasty like yo I don't know what I'm people put in his coffee like I don't know what genes he has but his DNA is like infused with like somebody some like i don't know he got it like i don't know i salute that kid because it's like one he's younger than me and he gets it like he understands that he could wrap his ass off and it's just like yeah. i respect that and there's a lot of people especially from my city that it's just like i'm, I'm from these streets like when i and i and I, yeah, when people ask someone me that lives in like, your neighborhood that you know yeah that like, i'm looking you know, literally right outside so of like literally. friends that i know like, <laughs> <laughs> like and like also, literally. like, you gotta, you know, people gotta come out and support, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you got that moving, and definitely, I feel like it's something that um, needs to happen more in Boston, that used to happen, mm-hmm. so hopefully people like you bring that on the spot. I know they're gonna bring it on the spot, because <laughs> I know you're doing a couple of shows. Yeah. I You don't have set dates, but, um, you know, just straight up, tell us where we can find you. Um, yeah. Your information, um, like you said, uh, Lotus. Lotus Taylor on everything. Like my Facebook, it's Lotus Taylor, um, at Lotus Taylor on Twitter, uh, Instagram. Instagram. The website is lotustaylor.com, .com. and there's like links to like the music, the bio, and everything. Check them out. But um, um, yeah, there's, oh, there's like I did a lot. I I did do some. You spoke about collaborations, real quick. Yeah, it collaborations. Was, I, I did do some collaborative want. videos with like I did a video with Berkeley. Um, it was a Charlie Puth video in the Wiz Khalifa song "See You Again." Yes. I did a remix of it with the whole like orchestra from New England Conservatory. The kids that it's like the high school Berkeley, so yeah. it's like they're on Berkeley's campus. I did the video with them and stuff, and then um, the video just reached a hundred thousand like recently. Yeah, I just like, seen that. That's was, dope. We're gonna put dope. that when the like, was, y'all know this dope. is live, but yeah, it was um, super we, dope. But. Uh, Yes. Yeah, I did some collaborative videos, but I, I'm happy I haven't released none of my own video yet, like my no. own lyrical. That's coming. That's you know, coming. It's coming, and 2017 is here, and there's a whole lot of good stuff that's about to happen. And I don't know if everyone's ready for it, but it's happening regardless. I mean, people better be ready for it. <laughs> they know what's hip hop, and they want that real hip hop back. That's what's just gonna happen. I mean, you yeah, feel I me? Ho- I hope they do, cause whether yeah. they want it or not, it's gonna be here. So it definitely, like, I, it seems like you're connecting with the right people. People to, you know, yeah, giving you where you have to go. You know, I'm here. I right. tell all of my artists that come through um, the show and show love. I always say like, keep in contact. I'm always there to push. Um, I, be an advocate, mm. um, doing a lot more things. Um, and as an artist, dance, I definitely know uh, the grind, but um, we got to wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> <What>? Y'all, <laughs> this was great. Um, like he said, lotustaylor.com, Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to post all of that. Y'all know what it is. Um, you know, AOA uh, coming through, you know, you're gonna see some hot shit on there. Word, what up, um, <laughs> you know, shout out to Ma, JB, what's up? Ten to one, what up? <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check us out. Um, are you ready to be exposed? And we're gonna have this on YouTube, Facebook, all of that. We're definitely gonna put it Lotus Taylor, his SoundCloud, where you can hear it, you can jam to it, you can you literally can I, yo, this is what happened today, just real quick. I came out of work and I was like, <laughs> you know what? I heard a few songs, but let me hear a few songs before I come through. 
I didn't want to get out the car. I was like, yo, uh, <laughs> babe, are, are you there already? All right. Like, I'm making sure, like, people are, like, not even there, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, but no, no, some real stuff, like... It was great. Um, I was telling uh, my boo, I was just like, yo, he was talking, like, he talked about some economic shit. And was, <laughs> I was like, and he's like, how old are you? I'm like, not the same thing, but dude's like, well, at that time I was like 19, but you're 20, but still, yeah. like, young. Um, but I'm good, just really yeah. happy uh, that you came through. Well, I'm happy Last to be here. Sound, are you ready to be exposed <laughs> with your host, yeah. Kateria, a.k.a. Casey Exposed? We got Lotus Taylor right now. Okay. Check it out. He's popping. He's all, hot. All these good Hello. Numbers. Fours and threes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lotus. Take care. Thank you for having thank me. You. Appreciate it. <laughs>